Greetings, travelers. Welcome back to Sam Max. Die. Let's, um... Oh, well, we don't have the, um, future seer anymore. I don't think it'd be a good idea to teleport to some of these places. We can't leave the spaceship now. There's still so much ape thwarting to do. Yeah, so it's not going to let us do any of these. That won't do any good. Stinky's right here with us. Uh, okay. We can't leave the space. We can't leave. We can't leave. Okay, so I can't do any of those. Wait, did it let me click on? Die, Earthlings! Die! Okay, I can't even click on those. No offense to Stinky, but in our future vision, Max and I had a private cell. Okay. <laughs> Sam and Max. Don't tell me Skunkabe wants you guys to be his love slaves, too. You'd be surprised just how many fetishes there are that involve Sam and me. What are you doing locked in here, Stinky? I've got no idea. I assumed it was Grandpa Stinky's fault. Why aren't you out there on your throne? Yeah, isn't Skunk Ape your boyfriend? You. He wishes. He is so not my type. You only have to date an evil gorilla once to learn never to make that mistake again. What? Oh, we've all been there, girlfriend. Sure. Skunk Ape's not so bad. I think you're being too hard on Skunk Ape. He's just misunderstood. Oh, yeah? Uh, did I misunderstand this picture he sent me? Good heavens. I think I should put on some clothes now. Well, Skunk Ape's got a lot of good Did he send a too. dick pic? He's got his own spaceship. I noticed. That may impress you boys, but... And the keys to your cage, so he could let you out. But then she wouldn't be able to talk to us anymore! Yoo-hoo! General Skunkape! Hmm. All set, Max. Now we just gotta get out of this cage so we can wrap this case up once and for all. Okay. So now I need to full power to write mandible. Yes. Now let's go to Stinky's cell. It just put us in the other side, didn't it? No. Okay. So that's still good. Well done, freelance police. Now you must place the homing beacon on Spookape's back to trap him in the penal zone. We're on it. Now light up those toys. The hell? Looking for toys. Uh oh. Your oh. future viewer has proven to be most enlightening. <laughs> Here, use it to witness how I am going to destroy you. So, what was our plan B again? I believe well. we planned to turn on the dimensional destabilizer, yes. Luckily, I have my own. But I've still got the homing beacon. Exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this ain't Can good. You believe that guy? Skunk Ape knew what we were going to do the whole time. He just wanted to rub our noses in the penal zone, so to speak. I don't like being in the penal zone, Sam. You're not supposed to, Max. It's a horrible plane of non-existence forever trapped between reality and unreality. Yeah, that and also that beeping noise is really getting on my nerves. Turn around, Max. Skunk Ape strapped an antimatter bomb on your back while we were out cold. Get rid of it. Jeez, what a jerk! We gotta get out of here, Max. Pronto! Okay. Oh, uh, luckily the timer has just stopped. If I know my high-tech futuristic explosive devices, this is an antimatter bomb that will destroy the entire penal zone and anyone inside it. And it's gonna go off at any second. Really, Sam? Any second? Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but still best not to dawdle. Yeah. Well. 
Paddle it? I'd better keep this. It could be an important clue in our case. Sure. I like how all that's left really is the clues. Except for the cell phone and... What was the other thing? The engagement ring. <laughs> I like how the engagement ring is gone. Okay. No, nope, don't think so. Alright, well... I guess the only thing we really have to do is feature, check the feature. feature. Okay, there's no magical energy on screen at all, so... Let's just quit staring at his junk. And... Teleport... Back to Stinky. It's a good thing he didn't take the cell phone away from us. Welcome back, sirs. Oh. Uh, what just happened? I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept. Yeah, yeah. Just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the freelance police and humanity. I say let's cover him in candy bar wrappers and feed him to starving raccoons. You failed to trap him in the penal zone? I wouldn't say failed exactly. Uh, maybe underperformed. And we blew up the penal zone with an antimatter bomb. Oh dear. How can I help, Sam and Max? Dr. Mama Bosco has been granted the fullest security clearance possible for a dead citizen, Mr. President. Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Not now that the penal zone has been destroyed. Well, I can't really say that it's been destroyed yet. How are we going to stop Skunk Ape now? With the penal zone destroyed, we have no way to return him to prison. Unless... You could make another penal zone somewhere else. I smell a convoluted plan coming on. With a side order of hand-waving technical nonsense. Extra crispy. Before I made the destabilizer, I was working on a dimensional rift generator. It doesn't open a gateway to another dimension. It actually creates another dimension. Only problem is, you'll have to find a nexus of ley lines somewhere for it to work. A place where the border between reality and nonsense has broken down. There happens to be one of those in the city, ma'am. It's at 1313 Straight Street. That address sounds familiar. That's our building. Hmm. Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Didn't I already? Not now that the penal zone is been... You'll have to use... I like how it still doesn't let me, how like... this rift generator work? You just plug it in and press the pedal. After that, it works just like the destabilizer. If Skunkape is wearing that homing beacon, he'll get pulled into the new dimension. The trick is finding enough power for it. Do you have any more of those power cores lying around? No, I never did get that back. But even so, it would have taken a hundred of those things to give enough power to a dimensional rift generator. It's over there, with the other inventions that are a deadly radiation hazard. Okay. So you're suggesting we trap Skunk Ape in our own building? Well, kind of. You'd actually be turning your building into an alternate dimension, so it won't really exist anymore. I'm afraid it's the only way, sirs. Yeah, on the plus side, if it doesn't exist, think of how much money we'll save on rent. We don't pay rent, Max. <laughs> True. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. Okay. Let's pick up the... Hey, Nick. No, I don't uh... need the exoplasm, idiots. Rift generator. We'll be careful with your rift generator, Mama Bosco. Just make sure you don't turn it on until you've got that homing beacon on General Skunkape. Okay. So, can't really go anywhere, so we might as well teleport. We don't want to go to Stinky's. Let's go home. I'm not sure how we're going to get it powered exactly, though. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. The power's out in the whole building. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, and look, the ship's gone. And Sybil's place. I don't know how you escaped the penal zone, Sam and Max, but you will never escape my 
disintegrate her eyes. <laughs> Um... What? Um... Hello? Let's just go down! That was... that was strange and different. I didn't like it. Alright. What could be enough to power... Maybe? No. I can't plug a rift generator into that. No? Of course you can't. Let's try going back up, see what happened. There might actually be game overs in this game. That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, is that Doge? Um. Okay, so I can't go that way. Okay, I probably have to destroy certain things. There we go. Let's go back down. That, oh, hey. Oh, it's just the rats. I can't really do anything with the bop baby carriage. Alright, well. Let's teleport over to Sybil. So now we finally have access to this other... Um, yeah. Uh, I was hoping we'd teleport under an immovable pile of rubble and debris. Trapped for weeks, we'd be forced to resort to cannibalism just to survive. You keep coming up with creepy disaster scenarios that always end up with you eating me, Max. It's getting annoying. If you don't like it, then stop looking so damn tasty. You got a point there. All right, let's finally see what's in here. Um, was the whole... Oh. You guys keep it down. We're trying to save the planet here. Intruders! They've come to defile the toy box! Kill them! No, wait, brother. Look! It is the dog and rabbit! Justice prophesied on Tablet 8, verse 32. Uh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure you mean Tablet 6, verse 24. Heretic. Looks like another in a long line of wacky cults, Max. We're in so many prophecies, we should start charging royalties. You try and entertain the other wing nuts while I find a way to power this thing up. Hmm. I don't know why, all of a sudden I just started remembering the, the playing cards. I don't even remember what the playing cards did. Isn't that sad? How bad my memory is. Whee! Okay, so talking to Max. That's the most evil-looking toy chest I've ever seen. No doubt it'd unleash all kinds of horrors if we ever opened it. I'll get a crowbar! And I'll scrounge <laughs> up some blasting caps. No! You mustn't open it! That would give General Skunkape unimaginable power to destroy us all! They're right, pal. We'd better get rid of Skunk Ape first. Okay! Uh, pick up cable. 
The workers left some of the cable exposed when they were busy not fixing the power in this dump. Yeah. Maybe combining you with plug a rift generator into that. Okay, well what do I plug Oh, well, I could plug it into that. Well, it's plugged in, but there's not enough power to turn it on. Hmm. Boiler. It's hard to believe that good old Steamy has been sporadically keeping our building warm for almost a century. It's even harder to believe that you've given it a cutesy nickname. Ah, turn that off! Uh, you're killing us here! Well, oh. At least the boiler still works. Okay, I'm starting to remember something about, um, skunk sweat, or something, mole man sweat. Who are you guys? We are the Boxists, the last keepers of the true way. Well, our brothers have succumbed to the siren song of secular America with its basalt-rich tunnels and specialty coffees. Only we remain to act as guardians of the box. Sure. What's with the creepy toy box? It is everything and nothing. The power infinite. Oh, well that makes sense. We have guarded and worshipped it from behind the shadowy veil of faith for generations. We love the box so much, we've prepared a song about no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> we love the toy box, cause it's really great. Man, the musical numbers have really gone downhill since we've been on break. Some of us had grown to believe it was just an allegory. I'm looking at you, Jebediah. But the veil has been lifted! There it is, before us, just as the tablets foretold! Okay, more for the toy What's box? What's inside that toy box anyway? No one knows. No one has seen it for thousands of years. There are those who believe it contains... toys. Oh right, like the creator of all things is really some fanciful box in the sky filled with magical toys! You'll have to excuse Obadiah, he's a fundamentalist. Okay. Before, it sounded like you were expecting to see Max and me. Yes, you're coming with foretold in the sacred tablets and scrolls. And yea, the devil bunny, knowing not his true purpose, would unlock the mysteries of the toy box. Hey, Sam, it likes me. You know what that means, Obadiah. It's time, time for, for the, the apocalypse. apocalypse. Sure. What's that toy box got to do with Max? He must be blessed with the gift. Yes. It will bestow great power to the one who can use its contents. Oh, and don't forget about the apocalypse. You guys seem awfully chipper about the end times. It's just nice to be proven right for once. Yeah, suck on that, Barry Diggory. Who's wearing a stupid looking robe now? Still you. Is there anything in your scriptures about how we can defeat Skunk Ape? Just that the box will show you the way. And then the devil bunny and his chubby sidekick hey. broke down the wall and slew the betrayer of mole men. Okay. You guys stay crazy. Amen. So I'm obviously gonna try the the obvious thing. And plug oh, it in. It's worth a shot. Hey Max, wanna come here and ground me? You're pushing 40 in dog years, you're not a very good detective, and it looks like you've put on weight. Thanks. That should do it. Now I should be able to turn on that rift transmogrifier, or whatever. So, let's try it. Because who knows what the moment sweat is all about. First, I need to get this homing beacon onto Skunk Ape, or else I'll get sucked in again. Doing that twice in one day would just be humiliating. Okay. The boiler. It's hard to believe that good old. Okay. It's even harder to. What is wrong with you? 
Oops, oh, sorry. Okay, so let's real quick just to get some clarification on some things. Okay, so I can't do anything else with give up, Skunk Ape. You're under arrest. Okay, so Skunk Ape will be in here with us. Ah, turn that off! Oh, you're killing us here. And that seems to be about it. All right, let's go to Skunk Ape. Why did I get out of that? Teleportation. Back to Stinky. Stinky's been a important part. Did you see that, my queen? Not only did I defeat Sam and Max, but I took care of the penal zone in one stroke. Unfortunate word choice. Sam and Max, you survived! Have you returned with a, how do I put this tactfully, better thought out plan to stop Skunkape? Our last plan would have worked fine if he hadn't changed the future. Yeah! How do I put this tactfully? Hmm, bite me. You'll need to get your personal belongings. Let me see if I can... <sighs> oh, that hurts. Does everyone else taste butterscotch? Thanks, Brain. Now we just need a way to get this homing beacon on Skunk Ape's back without his noticing. I can't remember the name of my elementary school. Aww. Are you okay? Are you okay, Brain? You're looking a little green, even for you. The stress of powering the higher functions of this ship is proving most detergent. Plus, I think this broth is starting to go bad. Probably. How are we supposed to stop Skunk Ape now? I don't know. Something about a homing beacon, wasn't it? Sure. Keep it together, Brain. Okay. Bye now, Grandma. Okay. Take <laughs> Die, Earthlings! Die! There's got to be something in this city with the unholy power we need to power up this invention. We've already done that. Take that! Alright, obvious thing, let's... Ooh. Don't you have planets to blow up or something? Thanks, Stinky. Hey, Brain, can you give us a hand here? Maybe cause a subtle get stylish distraction? I grow weak, jamming tracks, and I fear my time in this wharf is drawing to a close. But if I can prevent but one villain from massaging another appointment book, my sacrifice is but a small, small bacon belt to pay. Right. Could you hurry it up? Max, show some respect for this noble creature's sacrifice. Could you hurry it up, please? Donut button, Sam and Max. Donut button till we meet again in the plaid. Ah, uh, uh. Emergency. Engine failure. Emergency. No! Not in my moment of triumph! Sam and Max must somehow be responsible for this. I must find them and destroy them. Because, you know, you haven't been hearing them this entire fucking it, time. Okay. Let's go. Full power to write mandible. Yes. Oh, I'm an idiot. We don't have the thing anymore. The button. Teleportation. Let's go to Sybils. I had to think for a second, like, which phone number I needed to call. Okay, let's... Turn this on. Ha 
<laughs> well played, Sam and Max. But once again, I am too strong. And you have only seconds before... Wait, it can't be. The Devil's Toy Box? Devil's Toy Box? That's right, Jack, and it's ours. Yeah, go find your own toys. Ha, ha, ha. Perfect. You have led me right to the greatest prize of all. Soon your bothersome dimensional rift will close. And I will take the toy box and the one who can control it. Yes. Think of something quick, Sam. I don't like the way he's undressing me with his eyes. Well, really only one thing I know to do at this point. Whee! Turn it off! Turn it out! We live in cool, dark places. Um... Give up, Skunk Ape. You're under arrest. <laughs> under arrest? By an Earth Dog and his pitiful inventions? I have more strength in one hand than in all the inventions of your planet's greatest scientists. Hmm. I'd better keep this. It could be an imp Maybe the paddle ball? Pretty sloppy of you to miss this toy, Skunk Ape. It's the best one yet. Nonsense. It's worthless. Are you kidding me? It's just dripping with psychic power. Right, Max? Huh? Oh, right! Uh, <laughs> you give me the power to, uh, uh, automatically calculate the proper tip at restaurants. Nice one, Bonehead. It's a very practical power, Sam. They can't all be showstoppers. Give it to me. No! Keep away from the big monkey. No fair! Give it! <laughs> and so our heroes save the world once again. Our villain undone by his own greed. It would seem a fitting conclusion. But this is not the end. Oh no, but merely a beginning. The yeah. overture, if you will, of a five-part symphony of mayhem that will blow your ever-loving mind. I hope so. What is this mysterious toy box with its bizarre connection to Max? Is General Skunkarpe truly defeated? No. Will Sam ever find true love? Will Max be able to control his emerging powers? Or are his ominous visions of the future a sign of tragedy to come? I'll see you in the coming chapters to answer all of these questions and more. But for now, I leave you with this chilling conclusion. Ouch! Sucked right through three floors in a septic tank. There goes our security deposit. I wonder if our building is zoned to act as an interdimensional prison. Sam, what are they looking at? Holy heaping helpings of Herodotus on base with Marshall stacks and a Wawa pedal. Is that us? Well. The tomb of Summon Mock. Ha, ah, Summon Mock. Yeah, I get it. Wow. Holy crap. That is hands down the best Sam and Max episode we have had yet. Like, that between the three, I guess, three years that it took between the second season and this one to come out, they really upped the ante. This was so great. And I really can't look, I really can't look forward to the others even more, any more than I possibly, uh, you know what I mean. 
I'm really looking forward to playing the other four chapters, if they're anything as good as this one. So, yeah. Ugh. Like, I, I know that a lot of dimensional or, like, Eldritch Abomination stuff is supposed to happen in this season. So that's going to be interesting. I'm hoping the Mole Men stuff is kind of meh. Because, hell, Harry's been so far one of the few characters that's been in, as of right now, Harry's the one character that's been in, besides Sam and Max, and Super Bowl. Actually, did Super Bowl show up in Season 2? No, Super Bowl's in Season 1, I think. I don't remember. But, uh, Harry's the one of the villains that's been in there since the beginning. Yeah, Super Bowl's been there, because I think Abe Lincoln Must Die was Season 1. Pretty sure. Yeah. But, yeah, like, it's so weird having a game without Sybil. You. Yes, you. <laughs> but it's so weird having a game without Sybil, Lincoln, or Bosco. I miss Bosco. Bosco's my favorite. I hope he comes back. And that's it. That's Sam and Max, Season 3, Episode 1, The Penal Zone. See you guys next time for The Tomb of Summon Mock. Bye-bye.